Hey y'all. <clears throat> so I'm currently driving home from the uh, state house that was today, the hearing for House Bill 1319, which was the statement I made a video of the other day. Um, just really wanted to capture my thoughts in the immediate aftermath of it, so. Um, <clears throat> The day started off positive, I'll say that. It was very positive to start. We had a bunch of speakers that spoke outside. We had signs. It was like this really awesome, like just positive energy the whole time. And um, there were so many people out in support that we had to move from the legislative building to the State House Hall of Representatives because there were just so many people that they couldn't seat them all. So that was pretty cool. It felt really, really positive, like how many people were out. <clears throat> and then it started and I mean there was a stack like this high of pink cards which was people making statements um, and obviously <clears throat> you just put your name and how long you were gonna talk for and you know where you were from so it's not like they knew if you were trans or not but for the first two hours it was pretty much all first of all it was pretty much all cis people that talked because that's just there's more cis people than there are trans people in the fucking world. So, um, anyhow, I, there was a good number of people in support. And most people that were in support, that was great. But there was so much opposition. I mean, I feel like almost every person was there opposing it. And for the same fucking ridiculous reasons as always. We're scared about the bathrooms. Like, people are going to pretend to be transgender and go in and assault people in the bathrooms. Like... Fuck you. People already get fucking assaulted, and then you don't give a shit about them. So what are you trying to say now? That because you're scared of trans people that you're going to put the blame on us? <clears throat> it's just the same old shit of, like, religion, and these people were trying to... So many people brought up this, like, idea of, like, subjecti subjective reasoning versus objective reasoning. Subjective reasoning being, like, that gender identity, pretty much. And objective is, like, the biology, because it's, like clear facts versus subjective is subjective, you know, based on a certain circumstance. And they're saying, how, oh, once you start bringing that up, then, then like the whole of society unravels and, you know, what's next? And just that whole kind of just like fear, fear mongering tactic that the opposition always fucking uses for this kind of shit. And honestly, I just feel so defeated. I didn't even get to speak. I mean, that's how many people there were speaking. They're going to have to open it up for another hearing <clears throat> because there was still like fucking probably another three three hours worth of people to left left to talk you know but there was just so 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 many people that were just hateful and honestly like I, I can't even figure out how to sum up what it feels like to sit there for four hours and listen to people be hateful towards you as a community as a person at you know in general just the lack of understanding and like the inability of us to be able to respond you know we just have to sit and listen and wait for our turn to talk you know, it's just like, I just feel so defeated. Like, if I could cry right now, that would be fucking awesome. But I can't because my fucking emotions just won't let me. But I feel like if I could cry, I'd feel better. But, um, so I went from like a really positive feeling to like, fuck, this really fucking sucks. I really like, I don't know. I Not that I thought there wasn't going to be opposition. I just didn't think it would be like, all opposition and maybe the fucking rest of it is all support and I just don't know that but god I mean like every single freaking person it felt like that talked was opposing it for the same goddamn reasons of like what about our kids and what about our women and what's gonna happen to women's rights if all uh, men that dress like women can now have women's rights like should we just get rid of women's rights and blah 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 and just oh my god just like the ignorance and the fucking hate just wears you down just fucking and honestly, I was feeling frustrated. Not like they knew that, you know, who's trans based on the cards, but it was like no trans people spoke. Maybe like three trans people spoke. You know, and I know that there's a whole room full of trans people there. So many people that I was on panels with were there. Like other people that were trans that were outside at the rally beforehand. Like here we are having this conversation and all these people are coming up to stand and support and say, look at me, I'm cisgender and I support this bill. Like, fuck you, let the trans people speak. This is the bill that it protects. Which, you know, that's just the process. Obviously, no one's going to write their trans on the piece of paper so that people know. But I just was feeling like, okay, this is supposed to be about us and none of us have spoken yet. 
<clears throat> so that was frustrating. Um, yeah, and honestly, just the fact that like these people, all these people showed up like en masse to come protest this bill, where they knew there was gonna be like a room full of fucking trans people there, and they're just spewing hate because they don't understand and they don't support and they are scared or they just and the pastor from my parents old church was fucking there and he made a statement about like how essentially that you can just work through anything and you know learn to be right in your body that was his general statement and he was worried about his kids and blah 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 and it's just like just everybody fuck off right now seriously okay i feel like i've ranted for long enough so i'm gonna stop now um I'll definitely let you guys know when it goes to the hearing again, and hopefully I get to talk. I mean, I fucking dress nice for this shit, and I just sat there all day. <laughs> and I got a parking ticket, <laughs> because I was stuck in the fucking room for four hours, and I'm like, God, the one time I go outside and change my parking ticket, it's gonna call my fucking name, so I just didn't. Anyhow, <clears throat> I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. Um, hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you next time.